I'm Chanel Greco from Sir Paris, and in this video, I'll show you how to use Google Slides templates. There are three separate ways how we can get to the Google Slides template gallery. So let's start off with the first way to get there. That is by just opening up a new window, a new tab, whatever, and then clicking here on the Google Apps icon and then heading over to Slides. We are then brought to the Google Slides homepage. And here we already see a minified version of the template gallery. I can click on this button here to expand to the full view of the template gallery. Here are the general templates. So these are available for everyone who has a Google Workspace account. And here are your or my organization's templates or so so Paris templates. Even I, let's say I wanted to use this one here. So all I have to do is simply click on it once. And now it's going to create a copy of that specific template. And where, where's it going to store it? I, I didn't define what the storing location is. Well, whenever you create a new presentation or a new file based on a template from the home page of, let's say, Google Slides. In that case, have a look at the top level of my drive. I bet you we're going to find it there. Let's see. Uh, the Superis demo template. It should be here somewhere. Oh, scroll down to S. Oh, I have a lot of demo templates going on. So let me rename this. Uh, tutorial video. Just to make sure that's really there. You never know. Tutorial video. It was renamed. It's down here. Perfect. So that was way number one. Way number two to go ahead and create a new document based on a template is the following. I'm already in this specific presentation and now I click on file, new, and I choose from template. Again, I'm brought to the template gallery and here I can choose a presentation. This time we're going to choose this one here and it's going to start creating this document again. And this time I want to show you um, a different way how you can identify where any given document is. Um, you know, whenever you're not quite sure where it has been saved to, because obviously being Google Drive, it saves it automatically. So head over to File, Document Details, and this gives you a, a hint, My Drive, and I'm the owner. Uh, My Drive stands for the top level of your root folder. And maybe a little bonus tip. If you click on the move icon, a little minified version of your My Drive will appear. And this again lets you know, ah, this is the storing location. And a bonus tip of the bonus tip, check out this here. If you click on that tiny little icon, it will open up that storage location in a new tab. Now on to the third way how you can create new files based on a template. And this happens to be my preferred way. So what I'll typically do is I'll head over to Google Drive. I'll navigate down into that folder where I want that specific file to be created. And then from here, I can either say new, hover over Google Slides, and from a template, by the way, the same works for other tools if you have other templates, but this is about Google Slides. Or what I think is even more efficient is simply right-clicking Google Slides from a template. I tend to use right clicks uh, very often in Google Workspace, and I suggest you try it out too because I will always um, have a, a context menu up here. Uh, this time I'm going to use this third template, and now it is being created. And why I think this is better is because it's a bit you know, it gives me the chance to directly save that document where I want it to be for in the first place anyway, instead of having it added to the top level of my drive and then having to, you know, move it into that location where I want it to be. So let me have a look at this here. Slide suppose template, slide suppose template. That's exactly that document. This probably would also be the preferred way if you are creating a new document and want to share it on a shared drive. Um, so I would also suggest going directly into the shared drive, into that folder where you want that document to be saved and creating the new document based on a template from there. Now you might be asking yourself, hey, that's awesome. I want to use templates too at my, at my organization. My team and I, we would love this. Well, that is possible, but two conditions have to be met. So first of all, you need to be using a Google Workspace 
um, account. So this won't work if you're just using a Google Slides account that came with your free Google account or your free Gmail account. And the second condition that has to be met, this has to be allowed for you. So there are certain organizations where maybe the marketing department says, hey, hey, we are the one taking care of templates. You can't just go and create your own templates. So there you would probably have to refer back to them. But if like in our case, you know, we're a startup, everyone has pretty much full rights, then it's absolutely okay, you can create your own templates and share them or add them to the template gallery so that all of your colleagues can then uh, use these templates to create their own files. And if you're wondering, hey, that's not super, super complex. It's not. And you know what? I have a video about it. Um, I'll be linking to it right about now. So go and check out that video if you're looking into creating your own templates. And while you're still on this YouTube channel, why don't you go ahead and check out our other Google Workspace video tutorials about the whole suite or also how to automate, let's say, Google Sheets, if that's something you're interested in. And what about you subscribe to this YouTube channel by hitting the button below, the subscribe button, you know, the big old red button, go ahead, click on it so that you don't miss out on any of the video tutorials we publish here.